hello everyone i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see default orm method supported by odoo and in case you missed previous discussion about image field please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see odoo development and odoo 17 development tutorial so here we are trying to add one more playlist for the orm methods and uh, if you want to learn more about odoo from the scratch you can you can use this playlist it covers all the odoo 17 development tutorial and still i have to cover a lot of things so in case you want to learn more about different topics you can visit this main playlist of the odoo it covers from the 14 to 16 odoo version with different topics and you can see here all the topics is already covered here right so guys i need your help here to subscribe this channel so let's back to our main topic uh, the list of supported methods by the odoo right so first thing is the create method what it is what is the parameters we have to pass uh, what is the return value right now we are not discussing anything about any of the methods right now we will discuss only like there are a few but very useful or a methods we can usually use while development all right so the create method is like it will create a new record you can obviously override this method another method is the write method write method the purpose is to write the update the record side and it will store into the database then after the unlink method so once you are trying to delete any kind of records first thing is it goes through this unlink method right then after the let's say you want to duplicate the existing record right so here the copy method will help you then after the default underscore get like while you create a new record uh, during this time you want to set or let's say you want to get default values for the particular fields so you can use this specific method the default underscore get name underscore create is very uh, interesting method which will help you to create a new record similar like a create method but only the thing is it will create it will add only a one field which is the name or the display underscore name field that's it but this method is very popular in a specific topic so we will cover this part in a different session all right then after the browse uh, let's say you have a record set ids and you want to convert those ids into the record set so this method will help you to convert from ids to the record set then after the search method is very popular because each and every time you want to search specific condition based record set from the database side right then here you can use the search method let's say there is a one more case is that uh, you want to search the data but you want to return the number of counts only like how many records is there then you can just use search underscore count instead of the search method then after the name underscore search this is also a very popular while you search records to the relational fields right we will not discuss this part in this conversation in this topic but we will going to deep dive into a separate session then after the read the read method specifically fetch data from the database along with not with the record set but with the dictionary key and value pair like as a json you can say then after the read underscore group so let's say you want to group by with the specific fields right then you can use the read underscore group then after fields underscore get like let's say you want to get number of fields uh, you want to get the fields and along with the specific uh, metadata about the fields right like let's say there is a name field is there with the character field and whatsoever attributes you passed already in the field level you will get all the informations using this fields underscore get method then after the exist so let's say the record set is really exist into the database or not so this is the checkpoint method you can use here then after ensure underscore one which is also very useful let's say you while once you are using any specific method the custom method or the orm methods right and over there you want to restrict like the record set 
the self itself should be the only one record set not multiple record set like that so in this case you can use answer underscore one then after the get underscore metadata it will return the record sets metadata well this is very rarely used but uh, this is very important also right so we don't need to forget about this method this method is also very useful then after the filter well once you have a record set right and after you again going to search the data from again to the database uh, based on the record set it's best to optimize your code using the filtered method so it will filter from your record set only no it's not going to search from the database side right so don't worry about this method you have to just uh, remember what is the purpose at the moment and we will see practical example with different test cases all right then after the map let's say you want to get a specific record sets specific fields field information right so here in this case we can use mapped method then after the sorted obviously it will sort the record set from ascending to the descending or descending to the ascending based on your condition and this method also improved since version 17 so we will see everything about this method right and yeah obviously there are more methods already introduced by odoo from the version 17 let's say the fetch right and many more we will discuss one by one and uh, yeah very basic methods you have to learn in your development career so we will see one by one with the practical example all right how you can override what is the parameter we have to pass what is the decorators we have to use what is the return data type that specific method return so everything we have to we will check one by one all right so if you have any doubt related to uh, this topic please comment below and see you in our next session